Hey guys, Jason here. So I've been getting, uh, it's been windy here all day, and uh, but I've been at work, and so when I get home the wind's kind of dying off. But I wanted to get some video of this tracking, and uh, you know, when it uh, actually starts spinning. Uh, some pretty low winds, probably around 6 to 10 mile an hour winds. Of course he's spinning because he's not even hooked up to anything. He's unplugged. I should, might just take him down along with the other one. Not use those anymore. They don't really do a whole lot. But anyway, let's see if we can get a some tracking, low wind speed tracking and some uh see when the blades start spinning because this guy really does track the wind nice there we go so i might just stay with the uh, 11 g4s they seem to have a really low wind speed cut in they start spinning in a low wind speed and if the turbine's facing the right direction with that new little bearing that Jeff is selling, um, and he's going to get those in stainless steel. So that, uh, that little bearing makes it track the wind really good. So I, I might just stay with the 11 blade G4s because uh, they do seem to start spinning in a low wind speed. So. I don't know. And that guy not hooked to anything. It doesn't matter. He'll just spin around in circles <laughs> when he starts. And he's noisy. So I might take him down. Little Chinese turbines have always been noisy. A lot noisier than these guys. My Missouri Wind and Solars. And there's, there's where the other guy's going to go. Well, I'm going to put this guy up there take that guy down and put him over here where this guy is so that's the plan I got some parts need to order a few more and what I think I'm gonna do you see that my mounting pole goes all the way up right alongside the house so where it mounts to the house I'm gonna put some rubber spacers in there and that will quiet it down I didn't even think of that when I put that up there the hum of the PMA or the PMG so uh, and another thing I'm going to do, look at that low wind speed tracking. That is just awesome. <laughs> anyway, another thing I'm going to do is I, over there, you can see the pole stops about 10 foot up off the ground. So I got two 10 foot poles on that. And I could go up a lot higher with it, so I might go higher with it also. But I'm also at the bottom of it, I'm going to put the slip ring with a six wire slip ring for this turbine because it's the uh, the Freedom 2. And uh, I'll show you on this pole as an example. So I'll put a box down here and have a six wire slip ring on, hooked onto the box. And I'll have the wires coming down and hook onto the six wire slip ring. And so if the wires start getting a little bit tangled it'll twist the top of the slip ring and then I can easily replace that slip ring when it burns out or I could just unhook it and bypass it until I can replace it um, so that's what I think I'm gonna do just get a outdoor electrical box and stick it and drill a hole and put the slip ring in and attach it to the top of the box and hook the wires to it and so when the wires are moving back and forth with the turbine they'll actually be turning the top of the slip ring. And I'll put that over there at the bottom of that pole. So I think that'll work and then that way I can change it because that pole takes three people to take it down. One person up top to unhook all of the bracing and everything and two people down below to loosen the, uh, the mounts that are holding it to the wall and slide the pole down because the pole it goes actually through the roof 
<laughs> so I didn't design it for one person to do anyway so yeah I got you a little bit of a video of low wind speed cut in with the 11 generation 4 blades where it starts spinning in low winds so that's all I was interested in and the tracking so lots of stuff coming up I got some parts on order um, a few things that I want to look for are uh, more of those one inch uh, wire holders with the one inch clamp on them I want to get a couple more of those so I, when I put that guy here I want to put another one of those one inch angle things that holds the wire on top and just put the slip ring on the top on these poles because I can reach up there if it burns out and get it down and change it without taking the turbine off the pole but when I put this guy over there I'll put the slip ring down at the bottom of the pole so the wire inside the pole when it moves back and forth and stuff it'll also if it ever needs to it'll have that slip ring at the bottom where it could just turn if it needs to so the slip ring would just be there and I can replace it whenever and anyway well thanks for watching if anything changes and I actually get some good winds and stuff and start making some power I'll show you guys uh, I got oh I got another uh, 600 watt 10.8 to 30 volt grid tie on order because I'm going to start separating out my turbines to uh, uh, it's like 1200 watts each uh, grid tight worth of grid tights and then this guy I got um, a 22 to 60 thousand water on order and I'm going to get two of those for this guy plus uh, another 10.8 to 30 volt 600 for him so he can he'll be running on both uh, on lower winds he'll run the 10.8 to 60 or 10.8 to 30 and in the higher winds he'll go on the 22 to 60s uh, 2000 watts worth of that just to make sure I always like to overdo my grid ties have way more than I need because it runs cooler they run cooler the turbines probably don't but the grid ties do anyway thanks for watching again there's just a lot of stuff I going to be working on and some more videos I'm going to be doing when I when I start moving that turbine to his new home so uh, yeah I think I might just stay with 11 blades uh, generation 4's they look fine they seem to work just fine on it I was a little worried that they just might not be enough power but I'm going to be running him as a 24 volt and then if I need to charge batteries I'll go through a like a midnight solar uh, uh, MVPT charge controller to charge the batteries from him and then I'll put my own dump load or diversion load when the batteries are full so that's another thing I'll do a video on in the future sorry this video is getting a little long but yeah I just thought I'd give you an update of what's going on and some low wind speed tracking and the cut in speed is really low on that so yeah lots of stuff I got in the future plans all right well talk to you guys later bye bye